Yi Chao continues his gaming glory days, but this time with a fresh start. Widely regarded as a trailblazer and top tier professional player in the online multiplayer game Glory, Yi Chao has dubbed the Battle God for his skills and contribution to the game over the years. However, when forced to retire from the team and leave his gaming career behind, he finds work at a nearby internet cafe. There, when Glory launches its 10th server, he throws himself into the game once more using a new character named Lord Grimm. With 130 million registered users worldwide, the eSport game Glory is back with Glory Professional Alliance Season 8, where the best teams compete to win. However, the legendary player Yi Chao chose to retire. What he does now remains a mystery for his beloved fans. Recruitments for different guilds have started as new players make way to their respective guild and get ready to attack the demon's dungeon. The guild Happy attacked the demon with their leader Lord Grimm, taking the lead in vanquishing it and gaining the guarding power. Word gets out that Lord Grimm is actually the renowned Yi Chao, making many members leave their old guild to join his. Multiple guilds decide to flesh Happy out and thus carry out a planned ambush, but alas they get a beating of a lifetime from Happy, making them scramble away in fear. Yi Chao makes preparations with his new team for the tournament. Blue Weaver, one of the guild leaders who attacked Lord Grimm, convinces the other guild leaders to surrender for now and abide by the conditions of Lord Grimm and wait for the perfect opportunity in Heavenly Domain, in which everyone will be of level 50, including Lord Grimm. Above that, his relationship with Excellent Dynasty, for whom he used to play for before retiring, has deteriorated with time and might take action if they see Lord Grimm getting too powerful. Yi Chao's twin brother, Yi Cho, comes to meet and is mad at him for using his identity for the tournament, but nonetheless enjoys New Year's Eve together. Su Mu Cheng, Yi Chao's right hand in the game, also comes to celebrate and gets ready for the Glory Pro League. Excellent Dynasty loses against Tyranny due to their negligence. On the other hand, Yi Chao hits level 50 and gets ready for Heavenly Domain, the most powerful difficult arena, Glory Summit. Swimming through the challenges, Lord Grimm completes over 33 quests then jumps into the fighting arena, challenging players 20 levels above him. It doesn't take long before the arena is filled with spectators and new challengers out to witness Lord Grimm's majestic abilities. Excellent Dynasty members are pissed at Yi Chao for starting his own team and gaining full power once again. Thus, they prepare themselves to face him as rivals. Yi enters Heavenly Domain with his boss and gets asked to join the Heavenly Sword by their leader, Lu Lin Slash, but he declines, saying he has already joined his boss, chasing Hayes' team. Yi and Hayes get attacked by excellent era players, outnumbering them 3-2, but their excellent coordination gives them the win over excellent era, giving them time to focus on leveling up now. Yi offers to join the Heavenly Justice Guild, since he needs allies for until he can find pro players. Lu Lan happily agrees to his proposal, taking him in with open arms, but desires to fight him to see if he is the real Yi Chao, and what do you know, they all get their asses whooped by the master. News spread that Yi has joined Heavenly Justice, getting more pro players worked up, especially Trouble and Rain, who pokes Yi to fight him. Yi agrees, but first lets Lu Lan Slash have a try at him, which backfires since Lu Lan isn't a pro player and can't withstand the combo attacks of Rain. Finally, it's Yi's turn to fight Rain. With cool and composed form, Yi fights better than a pro against the chatterbox, Rain, who stands no chance against the renowned master. But just when it looks like Yi is about to win, Rain does something out of the blue. Reading Yi's next move, Rain intercepts just in time and even manages to land a few solid blows. But alas, what good will those few hits do against the master who delivers the final blow and brings about an embarrassing defeat to the troubling Rain? Excellent Era breaks their silence and goes on national TV to reveal that Lord Grimm is Yi Chao and that they respect him as an individual, but will be professional when they face each other in battle. Yi goes to Chalk Town, a leveling era where he comes across three different guilds, Blue Brook, Herb Garden, and Excellent Dynasty, who start battling amongst each other. Yi watches from afar and starts scrap picking, but Deception, a professional picker, takes away his idea and does it himself. Yi chases him to a corner to get the loot, but he escapes again. Yi follows Deception, who seems to be busy killing other players and looting them. Yi has eyes for a somewhat wimpy Excellent Dynasty leader named Princess Golden, whom he beats and steals her hand cannon. This doesn't sit well with Excellent Dynasty, who sends in five of their best men, amongst which Sun Chan is also present, bearer of the power Dragon Rays in its head, a move that is Yi's specialty. With raging anger, Sun fights Yi head on, but knowing that the fight is pointless, Yi retreats, 
making Sun chase him alone, leaving his teammates behind. And just like that, Yi's team members filter out everyone, leaving Sun and other teammates. With an ego taller than the mountains, Sun does not back off and proceeds to fight alone, which makes Yi give one solid advice. Your mindset is not for glory. Go play Mario Brothers. And with one swift blow and Sun's gaming career, with a heavy heart, Yi Chao recalls the time he was replaced by Sun by Excellent Dynasty, thus ending an error. His error. Lord Grimm, Deception, and Lowland are all on the most wanted list with bounties. Yi decides to play it by his rules, and so takes the help of a studio friend to create new accounts and kill the wanted list people. His cunning plan falls perfectly in place, earning 150k in money and transferring it all to the new accounts. Excellent Air gets another thrashing from Blue Rain in the ninth season of the tournament, making him fall in ranking. Sun visits Yi in real life and requests him to come back to Excellent Dynasty as their coach. Yi declines the offer, telling him he isn't playing for the superficial fame, but for victory. The moment he logs back into the game, Yi gets ambushed, running, diverting, and hitting back at the army out to get him. Yi looks out for the commander giving out the instructions and hiding. He finally finds him, but his surprise is old Wee. Yi Chen, former captor of the Blue Reigns and first user of Swak Czar, retired early. Now to kill Yi just for the heck of it, Yi dodges Wee's storms and plasma beams, not to mention the countless newbies that keep jumping on him from time to time. Trapping him in a hexagon prison, it looks over for Yi until reinforcements come to save him in the midst of defeat and it's none other than Yi Fan. They all team up against Wee and his pitiful newbie players, killing each and every one of them, leaving just Wee as the scapegoat. Wee tries to escape the hurricane, but gets captured in its midst and defeated by Yi, who takes his beloved silver sword. Wee demands his weapon back, but instead gets an offer he cannot refuse. To join Yi's team and become a champion again, keeping his head set down and a smirk on his face, Wee agrees. Yi and his teammates discuss the procedure to enter the championship, but before they can do so, they will have to level up. Knowing that it won't be easy to get all the materials and items, Yi decides to go back to the 10th district to defeat the boss, Topaz Knight, with his team for materials and loot. They successfully vanquish the Topaz Knight and rejoice in the luxurious loot. Wee Chen asks Yi to immediately come to the Heavenly Domain as a new boss called Li Po just popped up. While the other guild leaders decide who deserves the boss, Wee attacks Li Po head on, enraging the others. Finally, the leaders agree to give Yi's team materials in exchange for the boss, which he happily agrees to. Wanting to double on their loot and materials the easy way, Yi and Wee both plan to infiltrate other guilds as spies and give some loot. With a new handle, unrivaled super hottie, Yi starts on his spy plan and joins the Tyranny Guild. One to see his full potential, Tyranny's leader takes him to face a boss. With other guilds waiting to take the boss on, Yi jumps in to steal the kill, making the rest of the guild people follow him in pursuit to stop him. Dazzling Spring takes the lead to stop Yi from killing the boss. One moment they are fighting the boss, and then the next second, each other. This continues until at long last Yi defeats Dazzling Spring, and finally, even defeat the boss. A level 70 boss named Modank has popped up, making Tyranny go for him, but yet again their prey gets stolen by none other than Dazzling Spring, who takes advantage of his ability to fly. Yi gives Tyranny the advantage by occupying Dazzling Spring and letting him attack the boss. In the battle, Yi observes a specific cleric and his ability. Lucky, the cleric passes with flying colors, making him a perfect fit for Yi's team. Yi gives him all the details regarding their plan, to which he happily agrees to join. Excellent Error loses against Void, throwing him in the 17th place. Yi calls in all the team members to come and train as well as stay with them till the championship. Wei Chen tests the new players and is quite satisfied with their skills. Yi explains that their main goal is to reach the season's champion in Pro League. Excellent Error loses yet again with a devastating margin of 9 to 1, landing in second last place and thus dispelling their hopes of being in a championship next season. Smiles everywhere as Yi's team Happy Guild gets registered for the challenge and they all go out to celebrate. During their celebration, they come face to face with Mr. Tao, owner of Excellent Dynasty. Yi and Tao exchange a few words on SMS, with Yi provoking Tao for beating them in the challenge. Tao reaches his office and shows his assistant that he has planned to recruit a new player one of Glory's best mechanics and the top four tactical masters. Excellent Air has full plans to come back for everything they lost last season. Yi Chao comes back to Glory Summit as Lord Grimm after retiring from Excellent Air, showing the world that he is not finished and still has some tricks up his sleeve. 
Creating a new team to help him reach the championship, Yi shows no signs of backing out and going full throttle this time. X and Air recruit a new player to make them the best team once again for next season. <laughs>